Hi, and we're here today for the unboxing of the Mitsubishi Mitsubishi 3D C-1000. Uh, I have a 73 inch WD 73 C, excuse me, C9 television. Uh, so it's supposed to work with this one. First time I'm cracking the tape on this, so let's do this see what we got. We have a nice packing. Three reasons reasons to register your product now. This camera doesn't automatically switch into a macro mode, so I'm going to leave everything farther away. Uh, I can zoom in a little bit. This is brand new. Just got it off of Amazon.com. Uh, yeah, it's a good deal on it, so it's definitely, hopefully going to be worth it. This is our Disney sample blu-ray disc that came with our uh, kit here. This will be our first blue, blue 3D blu-ray we try. We have some shorts, some trailers, some, uh, some clips of stuff that's already out on blu-ray. Let's look at the hardware. Okay, this is going to be the try not to mess this up. This is a 3DA Dash one. You can buy this alone if you wanted to buy either 3D active link glasses or uh, your own set of glasses. This kit came with glasses. Uh, this has got an HDMI in, HDMI out, glasses port uh, to sync to your with your TV. Also it requires power. More power! Hooray! Again, you also going to need a Blu-ray source. My Blu-ray, my sorry, not a 3D source. My 3D source is going to be my PlayStation 3. I'm sure for a lot of people, it's going to be the most popular choice. This is a stand for the 3D A adapter. I'm not sure if this is this is probably going to need a line of sight because it does have a remote that comes with it. There we go. Now, my particular TV, it would actually be easier not to use the stand and delay it right underneath the stand on the TV. But, we'll cut to that when we're installing. Uh, cable here, this is a, I call this a 3 gen connector. Let me see if I can switch this to Mac. Without disturbing the camera too badly. This is the 3DN connector. Uh, it's a di just a standard DIN connector. It has three small pins in it. There's one on the back of the television. Uh, it also plugs into the back of this. And that's how you get your sink. Uh, this is the remote control for the adapter. It comes with a 2025 battery. Uh, plenty, of, plenty of tape on there, but oops, sorry about that. The battery, the remote. Get this tape off of there. That just drive me nuts. I don't know if you guys are like me, but tape drives me crazy. Also, some people like to leave this little protective film on that drives me crazy too. I like it just right there. Get scratched, it gets scratched, but it looks good for a while. Alright. Came with an HDMI cable. Uh, I'm not sure what this, the normal is. This is going to be a 1.4. I know everything said 1.3. Now they're saying 1.4A. I don't, to be honest with you, it's probably like every other freaking cable known to man. And uh, my $500 monster cable is better than your. $30 Chinese cable, but so much, you know, everybody knows what I mean. All right, these are the glasses. Let's uh, tear into these bad boys and see what we got. I might have to pause and go get a blade. 
guess I'll keep one of them handy for this. Song. Maybe, maybe we'll do a little cut scene and cut some of this out. I don't know, this might be comical to some people. Alright, got into it. Yeah. I'm going to move this so we can get a better background on my nice pink shag carpet here. Let's see what we got. Ooh, oh wow. A dust bag. Sweet. A battery and a, I'm guessing it's a cloth to clean your lenses. That is, that's pretty nice. Came with a bag like, uh, you bought an expensive pair of Oakleys or probably a lot of other sunglasses. I'm an Oakley guy myself, but, uh, ooh, stylish. We got red and blue lens tape. Not quite sure what to do with that. We might have to read the instructions. I'm going to try them on. I will put myself in front of the camera later. Uh, you know, there's a slight tinting, but it's not, uh, it's not like looking through a pair of sunglasses. I'm not even sure if some of that may come off once you take the tape off. I'm not, uh, I'm not sure, but nonetheless, this is the active 3D glass. Man, I like the, the pouch and everything. That is, uh, that's very nice. Now I could see upgrading in the future, see if I can find a hard clamshell case keep these from getting destroyed completely or maybe even uh, store them in their little triangular box because heck that's not a bad start for now until I get something better I'll stay in their boxes again ah, we got two pairs of those <clears throat> cleaning cloth and battery uh, the batteries you can go on Amazon and get 50 for 5 or 25 for five bucks or 10 for five bucks. They're not that expensive. Claiming to have 50 hours of active battery life per battery for charge. This is the other side of the glasses, your infrared emitter. This plugs into the back of our 3D01 where it says emitter out. This would plug in here. So, might I couldn't just build this into this? I don't know. Maybe too hard of an engineering feat. I'm not an engineer, I don't know. This I'm going to assume is the power pack. Yep, standard power. Just a bam plug. There we go. Standard plug. Uh, we're talking output 5 volts to 2 amps or 2,000 milliamps. Uh, you know, take it for what you will. Everything needs power. It's not not the least power hungry seen a thing I've seen. It's not the worst. So there we have it, folks. Uh, I'm going to get to wiring everything up and I'll come back and fire it up. Uh, I don't think I'm going to take any video of me setting it up because I'm uh, not just got up to get the FedEx truck and I'm not dressed to be on camera unless anybody wants to see my pajamas.